Today on Dad's Dishes, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious low-carb quiche crust. And as a bonus, it helps fight cancer. How is that possible? I've replaced that dastardly nutritionally void white flour crust, which has 12 net grams of carbs per slice, which is carbs minus fiber, with a recipe that has a mere 2.5 net grams per slice. I do this with a combination of almond flour, which has healthy fats and fiber, as well as ground flax, which has omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and cancer-fighting lignans. But all this healthy nutrition is just a bonus because this crust tastes great. Flax is a superfood, but you do have to grind it. Otherwise, it'll pass through you and you won't get all that nutritional benefit. I use an inexpensive coffee or spice grinder like this one. It costs less than $20. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm grinding up a half a cup in two batches until it's a fine powder like this. Then we'll add one and a half cups of almond flour and we'll make this a savory crust with some garlic powder, a little salt, and some dried herbs. Today I found my stash of dried sage that I saved for my garden this past summer. On a side note, do you know what the French chef gave his wife for Valentine's Day? A hug and a quiche. Oh my, get out of the way, please. This is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, the humanity. For more healthy recipes and great jokes like that, be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications to all. Then to bind everything together, we're going to beat one egg. Sorry, vegans, but using a flax egg instead of real egg just didn't work. The crust didn't stay together. Then mix that with three tablespoons melted coconut oil or grass-fed butter, which have cooled to room temperature. You don't want to cook your eggs with a hot liquid here, so this is an important step. Mix everything together until moistened, and then knead with your hands, then press into a ball. I do have to highly recommend this brand of ceramic pie dish, Emile Henry. I was not paid by them. I bought this dish with my own money. It's expensive, but it is totally worth the money because it gives a superior evenly baked crust. I'll put a link in the description below. While for standard flour-based dough in this pan, you wouldn't grease the pie dish because we're using almond flour here, you will need a bit of coconut or olive oil before you put the dough down. Then put your dough ball in the pie dish and begin pressing it down until it evenly coats the bottom and sides. With a taller dish like this, it won't reach all the way to the top. And if you get little holes, just take a piece from somewhere else and patch it. You can use a spoon or spatula to then smooth it out. Now, my crust wasn't perfectly even, mostly because I was in a hurry. What, you don't like that? You want to fight about it? Then prick some holes in the bottom and sides with a fork and place it in the fridge to set for 10 minutes while the oven preheats to 350F, 180C. Pre-bake the pie crust for seven to nine minutes and remove from the oven. While the crust is pre-baking, prepare your favorite quiche fillings. Quiches are great because you can use whatever you have on hand, you need to use up, or just feel like having. I'm just doing a basic ham and cheese one today and I'm whisking up six eggs with three quarters of a cup whole milk. By the way, my wife hates it when I steal the kitchen utensils, but it's a whisk I'm willing to take. I'm also adding some salt and fresh ground black pepper. You can never have enough fresh ground black pepper in my opinion. Really, your tongue isn't going to catch on fire when you eat it, nor is your mouth going to fall off. Go ahead, overdo it. You'll thank me later. Then pour the quiche filling into the pie crust, top it with cheese if using, and very carefully put it into a 375F 190C oven for 35-40 minutes or until the egg mixture has set. Oh, what? They can't see this? Oh, bugger. Sorry, folks, but until I start getting paid for this, you're just going to have to put up with less than stellar production. Well, you can see how it turned out, and if I do say so myself, it looks quite magnificent, don't you think? Let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes before slicing, and then serve warm or at room temperature. And be sure to give someone you love a hug and a quiche today. I invite you to check out some of my other healthy recipes displaying on the screen now. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.